Today, we're going to talk about how you can make $4,392 per week using insurance leads, something that I'm passionate about. Like you guys love when I do whiteboard videos, when I break down numbers, when we talk to each other about how to make you more successful. So today I'm going to do exactly that. How do you do this? How do you get from, Cody, I'm brand new. I know nothing. I'm struggling. I'm a 92 percenter. I want to be an 8 percenter and I want to make around about $4,392 per week. How do I do that? Let's, let's jump in because I kind of want to walk through the numbers. Now to get to this number, I'm going to use, how, do, how about our new whiteboard too? Thing rolls, it's, it's like a tempered, sexy whiteboard glass. All right, so I'm talking about 30 leads per week, right? Most agents are not consistent enough. I'm going to show you how you can use 30 leads a week and walk through it. Now, could I do it with less leads? Yes. But am I guaranteed to do it with this many leads? Typically so, unless you struggle with what to do and when to do it. We're coming out with a new, a new, a new live training series called Call to Close that will come out later this week. It will be a live training where we spend about three to six hours doing a deep dive for insurance agents. So make sure you look out for that. Over the next couple weeks, you'll want to check out CodyAskins.com to make sure you're aware of that. So 30 leads a week. When you look at 30 leads a week, every agent gets different results. So I'm going to kind of walk through some specific results of what I think a decent agent should get. Now, should, are there some agents that will get worse results? Yes. Are there some agents that will get better results? Yes. When I set appointments, I'm, getting, I'm normally setting at least 40 to 60%. When I get leads, like if I got 30 leads, I'm going to set 12 to 18 appointments. I don't care if I got a text, door knock, voicemail, email, call six times in the first 72 hours, no matter what it is. I'm going to typically, so I'm going to use an, a conservative set rate. So I'm going to use a 40% set rate, okay? Everybody can read that all right, Dylan? It's, it's big enough? Yeah, it looks great. Okay, so 40% set rate. So let's use a 40% set rate as an Which camera am I on to? 40% set rate. As an example, I want to walk through, okay, so 30, 40 percent, 12. So 12 set appointments per week. I don't know anyone in the business walking through numbers like this and helping you be successful like this. I mean, giving you realistic numbers that you can take to the bank, that you can apply to your business. So 30 times 40% is 12 set appointments per week. Now, if you're an amazing agent, it could be higher, right? So you could have as many as 18, but I'm going to be conservative and use 40%. You could be at 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%. I'm going to use 40%. It's right in the middle, okay? Because you should never, I mean, you could have the worst batch in the world. You should never have less than like six, right? If, if, if that's happening, like you need our university, you need our courses, you need to be watching all these shows because that should never happen. You should average a 40% set rate. Any experienced veteran, decent agent at all that isn't brand new, and even a lot of brand new agents, will end up with a 40% set rate. So that's why I want to use that number. So you get 12 set appointments per week. You know how I always talk about set, sit, and sell? Out of that, I'm going to take off about a third. So let's just, let's minus one third because they may, they may, they may cancel. They may forget. Or they just may stand you up, right? Who knows? They may cancel, they may forget, they may stand you up. So if you minus one third, you, you get eight, because that's two-thirds of 12, eight sits, eight sit appointments per week, okay? 
You guys following me so far? If you're not, let Dylan know because he's got a, he's mic'd up. He's watching your comments on Facebook and YouTube. But when you minus a third, you end up with eight sits per week. That means that you set 12. Betty, I'm coming over. Great, see you Tuesday at 2. That's a set. Now when you go and sit with her and she's home and you get in the door, that's a sit. So we're talking about eight sit appointments per week, actual sits. Now, out of those sits, you should average, you should average 50 to 75 percent closing ratio. The last three appointments that I've been on with new agents, I've closed them all, okay? Now, do I average 100%? No, because nobody does. But if you do, and, and this is all conservative, like this could be better. This could be better. This could be better. This, I'm going to use 50%. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use, I'm going to use, because what happens is, let's just say that you end up at, four, at, at 50%. So that's four cells, okay? So that's four cells. But what about the fact that some of them are couples, right? So let's just say that four, let's just say that you sell four homes, right? Four homes. But let's just say that two of the homes are couples. So you add two couples. Okay, so that's, that's literally two more because two of these were couples, one for the spouse, one for the spouse. So now you're at six cells, okay? And all this can, can, can change. I'm just giving you averages of what you should expect. So six cells, six cells, I'm going to minus this and jump back up. But remember, you got some couples in there. You've got potential higher closing rate, six cells, and let's just look at a um, seven hundred and thirty-two dollars as like an average annual premium. That's what AP means. Annual premium. It means that it means that the prospect's going to pay about that over the course of their first year for the policy. In case those that don't know what I'm doing there yet. That's $61 a month. I've seen that as an average for a lot of agents. Should, can, can you go higher? Yes. That's why our call to close live training series that we're going to do is going to be important. That's why our insurance univer wealth university is important. That's how we get that. So then you literally end up with that. Do the math for me. $4,392 a week of premium based on the fact that you get six cells. Let's just say, and that's the thing, you could get four, half of them could be couples and you're at six and you're still at a 50% closing ratio of your sits, right? Because the things that could be higher. So I, I mean, if you need to like write this down, take a picture of your screen, come back and watch this later. I want to jump into a couple of things because Let's just say that, let's just say that this is, let's just say it's 50%. Okay, so then, so then this turns into 15. Okay, and then let's just say that you still lose a third. So let's just say that you, that you actually sit with 10. So we're using a bigger set rate is all we're doing and going down the right side of the screen. And let's just say that you still close, now let's just say that you close 60%, right? That's six. But let's just say that two of them are couples. So you actually end up with eight cells times this, 7,300 I mean, sorry, $732 times eight, 
that all of a sudden is 5,856 dollars in, in this example only because you're a little better on the phone. All because you set a little more, you're naturally going to, if, if, you're, if your set ratio is higher, you're going to set more, you're going to sit with more, and you're going to, let's just use 60%, then you're going to make more sales. You could be less than this, this could be average, this could be more, but the number one reason why this, any questions on this before I erase it and move on real quick? Because the only reason why this never happens for most people is simply, and if you're not doing these types of numbers in your business and tracking your numbers on a weekly basis just like this, then something's wrong. When I ask you, what's your set ratio, you should know. When I ask you, what's your sit percentage of your sets, you should know. What's your closing ratio of the sits, you should know. How many times when you sit with 10 households, what percentage of the time do you make double sales, as in couples? You should know these things. Ages that don't know these things struggle. But the reason why a lot of this never happens is because you don't do that. It starts with, it starts with leads. All right, I need leads. Then I need to be consistent about the fact that I need leads. And then I need to skill up on the phone and in an appointment. It's that simple. You wanna make 200, 250K a year in this business, I don't care what type of insurance you're selling, leads, buy leads. Be consistent about your purchase. Buy them every week. Without leads, you're unemployed. It's funny how agents will say, I, we got a testimonial in one of the Facebook groups. Somebody just put a testimonial in there saying, hey, I sold seven of my first 20 policies with Cody. I didn't even use math that was that big. And the guy sold a third of his leads, right? He sold about 35% of his leads, seven sales in his first 20 leads. And he put that in a group. I didn't ask him to. I didn't even know the guy had ordered. His name's Chris. He put it in there, had some positive feedback. And, but what's going to happen if Chris does that last week but doesn't get more leads this week? Exactly what's going to happen is he's not going to be consistent because he's not consistent about his purchase, he's not consistent about his sales. Does that make sense? You end up losing momentum and sales, and the number one reason why insurance agents fail is they're not consistent about the fact that they need to see people every single week. Now, when it comes to this, I mean, we have leads. It's up to you to be consistent, and that our leads work. I just gave you a real life testimonial, and the fact that we do almost 100 orders a day now. Do you think they work? I, I freaking think they work. But then, when it, but then when we start talking about skill, the skill is on you. I do free trainings constantly. We do courses available constantly. I'm coming out with this new series, this new concept called Call to Close. When you pick up the phone to the fact that you're trying to close the business, I mean the entire process. I'm gonna be coming out with that really soon because that's what agents need help with. The call, the text, the voicemail, all of it. Okay, the, the Chris guys that, that had success with our leads jumping on now saying, hey man, how do I get one of those Apers Nation shirts? You guys start with this, bro. So, we, we, gotta get, we gotta get him one of those. Make a note, deal. We need to get those up on our site. The more people would love that. Like, you guys want to be a part of Apers Nation, you'll probably rep that brand because it helps you. It's a part of you. Like, you're not gonna rep secure agent leads. You know? But you may rep Apers Nation because that's, that's you. That's your brand. That's, 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 that's trying to help you become successful. So yeah, the polos and t-shirts are pretty popular. Uh, well, it's funny that you said that because Tate actually asked if we had secure agent mentor swag. Yep. We need so. more of it. We need to add some stuff to Cody Askins and 8% and secure agent leads and all of it. Get, get swagalicious, baby. I love it, Tate. 
It's up to you guys to skill up on the phone. I can walk through all this. I can beg you to take action. I can teach you how to call leads, have success. But if you're not good on the phone and you're not good in an appointment, none of it even matters. Hey, if you love this video, there's one video you absolutely have to watch. It's how to make $10,000 weekly and it's right there. Go click on it and I'll see you there. Let's do the math. So if you wanna think through 10K, all right, so the, so the goal is $10,000, okay? If you divide that by an average premium,